Hi guys, today we are going to do amino acids, which is actually the second last topic. The final topic is polymerization. We'll include uh, addition, condensation, and also proteins and carbohydrates and the whole lot. So today is the actual final idea of chemistry of substances. So here we are, amino acids, you can see here, amino acids. Uh, uh, this is the um, this is the what the syllabus. Let me just read to you here first. Uh, describe the acid base properties. So here's acid base properties of amino or amino acids in the formation of the sweet ions. Maybe I just will brief you what are amino acids now here. Basically, amino acids have got uh, uh, this structure C, uh, a carboxylic acid group here, okay, amino group here, amino amine group here, and here must be a H, and here can be anything, I put an R here, okay, so this part here, if I put the blue color here, this part here is prerequisite, of course here means it is a primary amine, Amine. Here is a mono okay, carboxylic acid. All right? So R can be a H. If it's H, it's called glycine. All right? C H C O O H and H2. This is the first one. Glycine. First. First amino acids, amino acid. Okay, so uh, this looks like a primary, this is a primary amine, but there's only one. You see, in your syllabus or in nature, you have a 20 amino acids only. The rest all can be uh, natural, but the natural ones are 20. Your body, nature makes 20, right? 20 amino acids, of course, there are more, uh, but this 20. So out of these 20, right, only one out of 20, 19 have got this type, okay? Out of one, which is uh, has a secondary amine, and this is proline now, okay, yeah, okay, you read it here, it's a proline, okay? Proline or proline, okay, it's a cyclic. Now this is the normal general formula of analysis. 90 of them have got this one here. Now only proline is a secondary, it gives like a ring structure here. So it's R, C and C. Now this carbon is called the alpha carbon. Alpha carbon. And all the alpha carbons in the 19 analysis are optically active or chiral. This is a chiral. Chiral carbon. Except for what? Except, except for glycine. Glycine is not. Because glycine has got two hydrogens on top here and bottom here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's the things you need about to know. So amino acids have got this kind of structure. Okay. A acid group here, an amino group here, and the C here. Okay. This represents amino acids. Okay. Now base and properties. Now let me just go through a bit here first uh, on the introduction. Those of you who have done biology, I think you probably uh, know more than me here. Uh, now here is all the 20, remember? Your body, nature, God has made 20 only. You can make others, uh, uh, they're called synthetic ones, okay? So this 20 will be the A, B, C, E's to make your proteins, okay? okay? All your proteins come from a combination of glycine, alanine, glycine, alanine, and valine, whatever, okay? Now you see here, very important, huh? you see, this one is the first one, okay? Put, okay, blue, okay, okay. Now, don't worry about the negative one here and the positive one. This, now, these are called actually switzer ions. But they, see, the, the idea of switzer ions is that they, uh, they, they found to be true. Let's say, may I explain first? Huh? Now, this is your normal uh, covalent, okay, amazing. They found that. In, even in solids, in actual fact, uh, this hydrogen here can self 
transfer to here. Why? Because this is a lone pair, isn't it? Okay, lone pair means that this nitrogen here is what? It's going to be a proton acceptor. It's a base. Isn't it? This is going to be a proton. Not this. This is a this is a carboxylic. So it will come here, and so it itself transfer itself to give you here. Okay, since it's a one-to-one -one ratio, one and it's two to one COH, so they self-transfer and will give you this compound. Okay, now this is actually what is found in your O negative here and a positive here. Okay, now this uh, this is actually neutral. It's neutral. Why is neutral? One positive, one negative. So it's neutral. Okay, so it doesn't move anywhere. You put a trickle field, it will remain by itself. But it's charged. So a molecule which is charged, yet neutral, is called a sweeter iron. Okay, that's why sweeter iron here you see here. Sweet, okay, sweeter ions. Okay, sweeter ions here. Sweeter ions. All right. Now the reason the the, the reason uh, scientists can say it is a sweeter iron is because of these two physical properties. The polar structure. Okay, explains high melting point. See now. For this, for glycine, is two, three, five degrees Celsius, pretty high, because if it's just a covalent substance, it wouldn't be so high. And so a high, a very high solubility in water, because of the ionic nature, right? So ions make it very soluble. So these two physical properties, okay, properties can suggest that your uh, your amino acids is actually always with the iron, right? So we can we have here. <clears throat> so now uh, in this whole list, uh, they write all in with the iron. Now basically, you can you can uh, there are a few ways to uh, sort of classify this whole thing. I will show you two ways. Okay, one way I like is of course uh, by looking at the ratio. I think I got it here. Yes, here now. You see. The ratio of the groups, because you have one, at least one NH2 group, except for proline, or proline and one carboxylic group, at least one of them. Okay, remember uh, the famous structure of C, okay, H, and R here, and this COH, <coughs> and here is your NH2. Okay, now if it's a one to one, very simple. Okay, now this is the first group of, of amino acids. Okay, right. But the second group, if in in a molecule, now remember this uh, alpha carbon now, right now. Okay, this is a H here. You put up this H here. Okay. So now this is your carboxylic one to one. But then there's along the R group here. There's another one. So there are two carboxylic groups to one in one molecule. Ah, uh, two is to one. The other one in nature, you can find that there are two amino groups to one. Two amino groups now. Okay, lysine. See? Not lysine, yeah. Lysine. All right, I can see here, if you look at it carefully, all here, uh, we look at the, uh, the whole list, the whole list here. All right. Okay, now these are the, the 20 alpha. Alpha means, uh, uh, means alpha means it's uh, this is alpha carbon. Uh, it's alpha, alpha carbon. Okay? Okay? 20 alpha carbons uh, that can be made. To a protein, okay. Now, see here, it's one to one here. Yep, yeah. right. This is your glycine. You need to remember just one or two, but now, mind you don't remember in the sense, sorry about this. Then, uh, because in your in your data bullet, you are given the whole list or the list that is important to you. Now, here you got the uh, also one is to one alanine. Alanine, the first one with the CH3 group is hydrogen. See, hydrogen. This hydrogen. And of course, it's the branch uh, alkyl group here is called valine, right? So I think, I think one, I think one more carbon here is your like uh, leucine, and of course branch more. Yeah, you know, all these are one is to one. See, you know, yeah, one is to one. Okay. Now, what what the other guys talk about this is it's called they are non-polar. Non-polar. Why? Because uh, overall. They are not charged. I'll show you the other one. Uh, polar, non polar, they've got the whole list here. They are, uh, okay, 195, this 134, 195. This is from, uh, 
from the from CIE, okay? Uh, the last time you should, you should give us notes. Okay, now we can see here. Okay, here, see? Uh, proteins, they can three categories, okay? See that? Uh, Non-polar, I put it smaller, so you can see better, okay? Uh, see that? Now this non-polar, they put the first one as non-polar, which means one is to one, <clears throat> okay? Here actually is uh, the current rate, they put three positive, they put here as negative, okay? So it's charge zero. Here, same thing, one is to one, okay? So, now if you have the other one, which is uh, two is to one, now here two is to one is for the, uh, is for the acid. Two acid groups here, to one amino group. So uh, in the other classification, what you have was, of course, C, H, Okay, that means that we take as if once it is in this format, we, we take all the groups as ionized. All becomes ions really. This one become H here. Yeah? Okay, positive. So whenever a nitrogen has four bonds, four bonds it is always positive. Why? Right? Because one of them is a what dative bond. Okay? So here will be C double bond O, and of course it loses electron uh, uh, the, 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 the H plus negative here. Here also it is CH3, so CH2, sorry, C double bond O, and of course loses the one here. So we assume all of these are so the whole thing here is charge what? Negative one. Okay? And this, of course, is going to be charge positive one. Because it's going to be NH3 positive. And here NH3 positive for lysine, this is of course negative. So this is positive one. Okay? This negative one, okay. So now these are called electrical charged, or sometimes they say acidic or basic side change. Side chain. Okay, this is acidic side chain, this is basic side chain. Now, up. Okay, now the other one called polar. This is quite interesting. This is, this, this is important when you talk about proteins because it curls up, it has a shape. Now, so whenever you got, uh, we have got this one here, see now. Anything that is oxygen. Sulfur or whatever, which is this oxygen is what right, is electronegative. Ah, that means uh, this this bond here, which is like that, C H H here. Okay, O and H here. So this is delta negative, delta positive. One, yeah. So they will cause a polar, not a charge, but polar, this slightly charge. This one will will cause it to have stronger one to one forces or hydrogen bonds with whatever, okay? Ah, which is important in uh, you know, the shapes, we call it the shapes of your proteins, okay? Right? So the, the, this tree here, but the one that I have earlier is uh, just on the ratios, okay? Here, the, 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 what the, the, the good thing about it is this thing called the polar part here. Now let's go into the other one, okay? Right, one, three, one, three, nine. Easier to explain it well because it's easier. Okay. Now, okay. Now, I'm not going to go through all the detailed reaction because there's not what they want, right? They want only if you look at the syllabus here. Very simple syllabus. It's got the acid base properties of the mesa. We talk about acid and base properties of amino acids because there are other properties which are not good about, okay? Formation of, okay, I do how, how they are formed really. Now, acid and base properties. This is a key thing. The means, uh, how does it act as an acid? How does it act as a base? Okay, the properties. How does one fellow here act as a, a base? Which means that uh, it is like the M, it's an amphoteric substance. Amphoteric substance, okay. Okay, how? Now, very important, the ratio sound now, very important. Now, let's look at the first one, okay? So, get to look at all these things here. You can see, okay, so of course, here. Now, uh, this is the cysteine, uh, the S here, which is more electronic, isn't it? Cysteine, uh, the uh, S here. This, these are found in hair, curly hair. So, those of you who got curly hair, that means uh, your hair got a lot of cysteine, see? Uh, Methanoin, got sulfur here. So, now, uh, this is the first amino uh, acid they found in making your proteins. Those who have done in biology, you know. Uh, this is called OH, ah, also polar, you know, but it's still one to one. So we don't care about that one first. Okay, you look all these different types, right? Okay, 
lysine, the 2, 2, 2 NH2. Okay? So drug NH3, ah, this is positive here. See? Okay? Ah, this is the uh, aspartic acid, got 2 car carboxylic acid groups here. See? Okay? Glutamic acid also got 2 carboxylic acid groups. Yeah? This is an amine group, never mind about this. Okay? So, now, how do they act in terms of acid and base? Okay, now here I give a definition. Huh? Please learn by heart. What is a sweet ion? A molecule is a molecule. That means uh, it's, it formed from covalent substances with both. Ah, uh, with both. The dual duan here. Both positive and negative charges. Not partial, complete. But have net charge of zero. Now, let's look at the way how they are uh, put on here. Uh, you know, this is quite nicely done for you, okay? All right, now we could look at those, uh, for this one first. Now, this term here, all right, here, glycine. All right, the first one here, I'm going to take glycine simply because it's easy to deal with that. Glycine is, of course, here, if you put the whole structure of glycine, my dear friends, Okay, it's C H. Remember, Bryce is the first member which is not optically active. Okay, now I'm going to put down here as this one here. This is the uh, well covalent structure way. Uh, not now. Remember, this is a good thing. Remember, remember when pH seven, which may not be true, no. Ah, uh, you go to university, uh, it's not pH seven. Okay, but in A levels, pH seven assumes that. All these two are ionized. Okay, you put in water, that means it will be, they'll become COO minus and NH3 plus. If you put in uh uh, uh no, that's a, this is a one to one, isn't it? That means the whole thing becomes like neutral, isn't it? Okay, so so when uh now this this when it, the pH is called the isoelectric point. Okay, so when when a sweet iron exists, when a sweet iron exists in a solution. Right? The pH is called the isolated point. So here is one to one is called is pH seven. Now here, aspartic acid, uh, no, no, here. Now look at this one here. Okay. All right? So now see here, uh, at pH seven, for this, uh, let me just do the whole thing, okay? H now this is the original thing that we talk about uh, without any dissociation of ions, okay? These are all the covalent substance here. Okay, now, CHH here, and the carboxylic acid here. Now this is the uh, covalent substances. But we say, you have to assume at pH 7, it means put in water. pH only can only be, be measured if it's aqueous uh, for your forms, okay? So if you put water, they assume all these things are being ionized. That means uh, it doesn't come out here, it doesn't come out here, it doesn't come out here. Don't care. So here, sorry, go in here. It'll come out. Okay? So you have NH3 positive, you don't come to CO minus one. Yeah? The whole thing. Hey, pH 7. No? Not neutral, huh? That means the whole thing here is it's not a zeta ion anymore. It's charge, the charge here is plus uh, negative one. Okay? And let's say for lysine, and lysine of course, not lysine, lysine. Lysine here has got two NH2 group, you know, okay? One uh, carboxylic group. That means that in water, we assume all of them are ionized. That means that, uh, so at pH 7, the whole thing is not neutral, no. This is not, this is not a zeta ion, okay? Right? Uh, it's just as positive. So only in a one-to-one -one ratio, one-to-one -one ratio, right? One-to-one -one ratio, one NH2 to one COOH, right? The isoelectric point is pH 7, uh, very important. This is a pH, okay, guys? All right, now let's see how they react in terms of when you put acid and base inside. Okay. okay. Now, they actually ask you questions for the structure and also the equations, which I'm going to show you how they ask, but uh, maybe I'll show you how they ask first. Lah. 
So at least as I do, you can actually see how we can, uh, how I, well, how you do it, whatever the thing is. Okay, acid and base, page 243. 243, it's a very simple topic, but you really need to know the stuff. Okay, now we look at this part here. All right, alanine. See, alanine. They give alanine here. Okay, K. The minute I say alanine, which is right here. Okay, so you put it in this way, but I told you normally uh, it's good to write at least uh, alpha hydrogen, isn't it? All right, carboxylase here and your OH here, all right? We write this off first, okay? Then we can change it later to your amine loop. So you got something sim simple, and this is the H, right? Remember, this is your alpha carbon, and a CH3 here. Uh, this is a second alpha, uh, This is an alanine, or alanine, whatever. Okay, right? This is amine acid, right? So recognize it here. Uh, this is how you make your alanine. This is how you make your amine acids. Very simple. Now this is your, well, uh, this is the lactic acid, no? Uh, found in your body, right? Uh, when you do exercise uh, too much suddenly and your body get cramps, uh, this is lactic acid. This it didn't convert to whatever that's supposed to be there, okay? So you chlorinate this one here. No, you, this is your alcohol, this is a second alcohol, isn't it? second alcohol, you can put a, a PCL5 well or, or, or HCL, okay? Chlorine. Okay, chlorine here, you can put ammonia to get some acid. So you can actually can mix them from, from, from step by step. That's why right. if you're a chemist, if you are a, a pharmacist, if you're a researcher, you can actually make a lot of molecules because you know your chemistry. So you must know your chemistry if you're doing pharmacy. Or you become a mad scientist like me, you know, mad really. Okay, here you got alanine. Okay, now here it says, uh, alanine reacts both with acid and base. I told you that. All your uh, amines are what and four carry. So here, write an equation for the reaction between alanine and sodium hydroxide, right? drawing the displayed displayed formula for the current uh, product. Which means, uh, one mark, one mark. I say, what is this? One mark for the equation. One mark for the displayed formula. Okay, so two marks. And then here, in the solution, and then exists as a sweet iron, draw the structure of this. Uh, so simple, isn't it? Like A, B, C, you know. Now, let me go back. Uh, let's see if I have some more questions here. Okay. All these are very simple. Uh, it's, uh, you know, see here, 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 the same thing, you know, here, same thing. Uh, see? Uh, above here, there's triosine, right? Triosine. Triosine. So now, how do we examine it? Very simple. Look for the main structure, the alpha carbon. You know, yeah, the hydrogen here. Yeah, uh, the carboxyls here. Yeah, the amino group here. Uh, here, don't care whatever that is. Here. Okay, the phenol group here. Okay, so this is an amino acid. Sure, already. So yeah, same alpha carbon hydrogen. Here, yeah. Okay, here hydrogen here. Uh, carboxyls group amino acid. Uh, here, okay. Now, of course, here's the Two is the one, two, two, two is the one, there. Ah, they open your mind already. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, this, of course, is a glycine, uh, two hydrogen here, there. yeah. And you end it two. See, uh, okay. So you have to, uh, when you put a question, you have to go over the structure. In your mind, form ideas about what are they. Don't mong cha cha. What is this? What are you to fail? Nothing. Okay. State the ranges and correlation for to break up proteins. We do proteins later. I will explain a bit. But proteins come under the whole thing of polymerization, so I won't deal into this. I use a bit of the idea to talk about the uh, uh, this electrophoresis. That's all. Draw the ring on the chiral carbon of which is it? Chiral center. Now here again, in the aqueous solution, the amines exist as sweeter ions. They say aqueous means water. Okay, in aqueous solution, it may not be a pH 7. It's only pH 7 for this fella. You know, because it is, you know, it is, new, it is, uh, it is neutral. Draw a sweet iron for glycine. It's so simple, you know. 
yeah ah then here comes the favorite question always ask one for each of the four relations draw the structure okay of the coin compound with rising with excess animation Rising with excess uh, uh, animation rising with excess acid Trising with excess bromine equals why trising bromine oh this yes, chemistry now no because of the phenol group now ah see now phenol group so you excess bromine here you go to two and four yeah right two and four then yeah so you get bromine here see now so they will they will shampoo everything okay now let's go to the theory okay then you can answer this by yourself all right let's go back to one three nine there i explained to you how you do it and that's the there's a lot of explanation there okay i hope you will uh you know here it maybe it's very important now. as water reflects a face so the man's heart reflects the man now what i see you it's not what is in your heart is it sometimes uh got a pretty face or a handsome face doesn't mean you're very good no it means that you've got a handsome face and pretty face not very attractive but is your heart attractive no you got a very lousy heart always cursing and swearing and thinking back about other people and think about other people you got a lousy bloody handsome fool man the pretty little bitch you know heart must be good very important okay and don't be an idiot a girl's member a quarrelsome wife is like a constant dripping on the rainy day so why don't quarrel with your husband so much learn to love your husband okay restraining her is like restraining the wind or grasping the oil with her so sometimes it's a more no just really quarrelsome but yes love your husband more i like this one very much the race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong nor food comes to the wise or wealth to the brilliant a favor to, to the learner or favor oh sorry or, or favor to the learner but time and chance happen to him it means all of us have a chance see here i just push a bit okay here we all admire the strong because the strong always win one huh uh, the race always wins is it the strong and the better swift the swift and the strong they win the race they win the battles in ah the wise and the brilliant also they are always smart cows you know all these high iq no no no, no iq people they always uh, go to cambridge and whatnot imperial and oxford right so they always get the food cari makan lah. Uh, they always have a uh, good wealth so we talk about the world talks about the uh, the what uh, uh, the race to be won and the battle to be won wealth to be gotten food to the to the wise to the brilliant to the strong to the swift and favor people will smile at you when you're learning when you're so smart like cow, you know? but the bible says no it happens to them all. all of us have a chance all of us have a chance to win the race to win the battle to get food to be wealthy to be favored by people right we all time and chance now is a chance to win the battle study cow okay put your whole heart into it beat your body and make it your slave be disciplined work at it practice 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 perfect practice make perfect you always will sleep sleep go and play computer games go to the gym and whatnot and don't study you will fail the time and chance now is the time and chance 24 hours is yours for one whole year a a2 is your chance if you lose it if you don't use it it's gone and you will be the loser in the race you will be destroyed in the battle you will be a you know a beggar you will be poor you will not be favored people look down on you and think you're a very cow or a very dog people tie so you know people look down on you people despise you you wanna you wanna go ahead okay and i appreciate now let's go to here where am i okay here now, this is very important now huh? now let's look at the three remember is acid and base reaction with your i mean acids now here we're going to start with here okay i'm going to uh, use the red pen okay red okay now this is a one to what is it one is to one 
So, we start with page 7. Okay. Alright, page 7, well, it is zero charge. So, we, 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 we put all the, the things that can be ionized to ionize, uh, well, ionize formula. So, you see OO minus and it's three positive, okay? If you want to put it like that, it's of course NH, H, H here, and C, H, H here, C double bond O, and O minus, and of course it's positive, okay? So remember, it's charge zero. Hold on first, huh? now, let me just go to the second one first, okay? Uh, just, just for fun, okay? pH 7 or so, pure water. For this further here, all right, for this uh, 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 coin substance here, all of them minus here, minus here, and a positive here. The whole thing is at pH 7 is minus 1, not, not pH 0, no. So this is not a sweeter iron, okay? But this is one here. Uh, later, okay, later, okay, later. So, so at pH 7, the, uh, for aspartic acid, it's minus 1. For pH 7, uh, right, glycine is, uh, 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 glycine, uh, uh, point is 7. Here it's not. A 7, uh, a pH 7 is called isoelectric point. Here, pH 7 is not called isoelectric point. It's just called pH 7. Okay? For two, uh, two amino group, okay, to one uh, composite group, a pH 7 is positive one. Again, pH 7 here is not the isoelectric point. 8.1 is. So what gives? Ah, so we travel down the road. I'm going to, uh, I think, okay, I put down here now. I just, I just want to, uh, something different, green color, okay, green color. Green color. Let's say, okay, let's say in, uh, 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 I still need to draw something. Okay, let's say I got here. A, see, a picture paints a thousand words, no? Chinese say. Here I got, let's say, 10 of these substances. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, 5. 5, okay? 5 of this uh, glycine, okay? Glycine, okay? 5 of glycine. Okay, the glycine. Okay? Right? Now, this pH 7. And then I've got a burette here, okay. Okay, and here, let's see the first one, I'm going to, so I'm going to add acid, so I'm going to go this way, okay. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to add acid, H plus, it's HCl, okay. So, let's say I drop one drop here, one drop, one drop, okay, equals to one H plus. So when one H plus go inside here, okay, when this fellow here meets the H plus, okay, what happens? Ah, which particle here, which, which particle here is a base? This is no longer a base because a base must have a lone base, isn't it? A base must have a what? As a lone a pair of lone electrons, okay, a pair. To what? To accept the H plus. So who is the base here? This fellow here. Got here got six or three pairs. Huh? So it goes to here. So I got five fellows here. One, two, three, four, five. After putting one of these here, I put a cross here. This one here will plus this one here to become this one here. So a dot and a cross. Okay. All right. Ah, got still four left. One, two, three, four left. So the page is still seven. I put another drop here. Another drop. Okay, two. So I put one here, finish. Two, three, four, five. At the fifth one here, so here become, okay, four. It means one of them still left behind. It's still page seven, no, not to change, okay, right? 
So the last drop, I put inside here, convert all these feathers to here. Last drop. Pop. Go to here. Oh! No more. All has gone to here. Right? Now, of course, this one here have a different pH that we okay? Right? Because uh, this was the acid. So let's say I put one more extra drop. One more extra drop of H+. Oh, this one become very acidic already. Uh, so normally they say excess acid or excess base. So they want they won't work exactly that. Exactly what is good with human steel, okay? So ah, uh, whenever there's excess of acid, this will be the structure. They ask you for a structure. That means it will be a positive sign. This is what they mean pH is not pH is one or zero, you know. That means it's very acidic. You can put a lot of acid, it's still be this one. This will still be the form, the structure of your glycine at very, very acidic. As long as acidic, you go to here. Okay? So if you start from here, so from here, and now I put, instead of acid, okay, I put, I change this really, I put a base, any which. Okay, can we see how any which, okay? I change from here, so I finish. Okay, okay, let's say this will be uh, okay. So, here, okay. So, I put the now remember there are five of them, huh? okay. Now, I put this is my acid, I put my NaOH, okay. Oh, okay. So, remember, it will react with my acid, okay, my H. So, of course, now this is a base part right? because you do electrons in no, no hydrogen in. here. The hydrogen here won't come out, so it won't come out. Okay, because it's, uh, CH bond is very strong. So here, right? This group here, ah, I got the, the, there are now four hydrogens here, right? Remember, ammonium iron is acidic. I remember we did before, it? Right? So one of them can come up, okay? So this is a proton provider. This is provide proton, okay? Proton supplier, proton donor. So when uh. When one of these go inside here, right? One of them, right this one here, okay? Right? To lose the hydrogen to form this one here. See now? So this will be this one here. So now there are four left, okay? So as you put some more, another one, this one here, you get another one. Another one. Now, once we have four, there is still one left, is it not? One left, like, like this now. It will still be page seven. You put the last OH minus here, all of them will be changed. So this one. No more this one already. Ah, this one here. This filler here is actually basic, right? Because now they got lone pair here, lone pair here to accept hydrogen, you know, okay? So now this basically means that any, they always say uh, excess base. It means that in very high pH base, right? Two, 9.2 is the in one now, it can go higher. It will can even go higher, this will be still with the final, final structure. See now? So at high pH of a uh, very basic, very alkaline, this will be the structure. They ask you for a structure, okay? Minus one, plus one. Okay now. So you can say they will ask you for the equation. Let's say you put the equation, now, how will it look like? Uh, we don't have it here. Now mind after we do it, okay? Uh, we can do it now. Okay, let's look at this. Uh, come here, uh, two, two, four, three. Uh. Two, four, three. Okay. <clears throat> two, four, three. See the first one. Okay. All right. Okay. Let, let's put the red color la. Red color. Okay. Alanine reacts with both acid and bases. Write an equation for the reaction between alanine and sodium oxide. Draw the structure. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, look. Let's look at. The, I think I got. I think twenty zero three. Okay. Here we are. Let's look at the answer scheme. All right, where is the Gundu? Oh, sorry, wrong one. 
I plan for the other one. This is 0, 03 November 4. 0, 03 November, 0, 03 November 4. This is 0, 03 November 4. Yeah. Okay, let's see what is the question. Yeah. 0, 03 November 4. 0, 03 November 4. Must be somewhere. Okay. I say, I'm sorry, man. I thought I got the right page. Question five. Okay. Zero three, no, no, four, question five. Question five, question five. Okay, here's, here's the one one. Oh, yes, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, so now. Okay, now this is your alanine plus NOH now, okay? So, now you can put like this, right? Remember, this this fellow here uh, is, a, is a old, is, is, CO3, so it's very old. Nowadays, they don't put like that. Okay. Let's say we put like that. Okay. All right. Remember alanine? H. It's a CH3. Okay. This is better to write, is it? O and O minus, okay, with your N and H. Now, this is the real one, okay? All right. It must exist as well. Okay. Plus NOH. All right. Plus OH minus or NOH doesn't matter. Lah. And AOH. Okay, give me what. Remember, this part here is a proton donor, but this part here is a proton acceptor. Why? Right? Because it's a lone pair. So you accept, right? Okay. And this part here is a proton donor. Say. So with anyway, short, sure, you will donate the proton, isn't it? So it's a working out to here, becomes a NH, H, right? C. CH3, H, yeah, okay, dash. So the OH minus here plus the H plus here, we get the water. All right, so here remains unreacted minus N your NA plus. See? Yeah, exactly. This is the covalent structure, but nowadays uh, for marketing statement, they don't want this already. I just want to explain. They prefer to write this up. Is it clear? So this is the equation. See? Right? Now, if you, if you have HCl, how would you write if it's HCl? Same thing here. I'm going to draw here, okay? If it's HCl. All right? Draw the ISO, uh, well, draw the, uh, the, the full ionic structure. Pause it here. Whatever lah. CH3. After you can try yourself with the other uh, substance here. Okay, draw all, whatever you two to one, one to two, or one to one, draw out the, um, well, the ionized structure plus HCl. Okay, remember this is uh, acid. Acid, so what is it? This part here, you know. This is the base, eh? This is the base part, the base. So it will accept the H, okay? The H here. So it forms what? It forms and H, H. H here, this is the same positive, and you see CH3, H, and ah, see that H, O, O, and H. No more charge, dot, CL minus. No water. So this is with base, this is with acid. That's why the same structure here can act with a, can act as an acid, act as an acid, and act as a Base. That's why it's called what? And for substance. Are you clear? Take a picture. You need to take a picture into your note. That is the marking scheme. All right. Look at here. Okay. They ask you for two marks. Uh, draw the dismissed formula of the compound form. And, uh, sorry here. Yeah. I'll go up and down. Okay. Here. Yeah. Write the equation for the relation between. And so for draw a structure now. It means that uh, equation one, one mark and display from one mark, which means that uh, the balance equation one mark. Okay, see balancing one mark. See now. Balancing. Put a different color now so that you all can see better. Balancing. One mark. Okay? That means everything balanced. Okay? Display formula. That means this one here. Ah, with this one here. One mark. Two marks. Okay? Okay, now the next one here. In solution, 
And the next is with the iron. Ah, simple. Draw the structure of this iron. Simple. Lah. Okay. Of course, we draw here. What is it? Right? So you see this one here? Ah. Okay, then here. Okay, I can draw it this way or this way. This is the, well, the display format easier to draw it out. See? And it's three positive. CH bracket, uh, CH3, CO minus. Yeah, see? Yep. Okay. Okay. Now that's how they ask now. now that's that's our first one. Now let's let's go do go there too. Okay, I got 50, 50 more minutes. I think I can finish off. I want to do the forces as well. Okay, let's look at the one three nine. One three nine. The whole idea is you must understand what it means by a uh, sweep the iron and all the blah blah blah. Okay, now here. Now I've covered the first part here. Glycine it. I know. A one where it's a one to one ratio. One is to one ratio. Okay. All right. So one to one ratio of the isolated point where the sweeter iron exists is page seven. No problem. What about if it's to two is to one? Aspartic acid, that means two, two of your acidic group and one amino acid group. You always start with pH seven. Okay, pH seven. All right. Base 7, you assume all of these fillers are ionized. So it's NH3 positive, CO minus, CO minus. So there are two negative. So the overall charge is minus 1. So this is not the isoelectric point. Electric point, okay. Sorry, okay. Right? Because it's not a sweeter ion. So now, let's say I'm going to add now here. Ah, uh, we do again here. All right, we put green color. So it's not to confuse you guys. Ah, I started with five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. It means all these all this colors are this guy. Okay. So in my beaker here, I got five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to add in here. Ah, according to this side here, I'm going to add acid. Is it now? Put acid, huh? Let's see how. Okay. So acid. Okay. One H plus. Here is one of them. Okay, now this one here. Remember, this is an acid. Why is a proton donor? Is it right? Proton donor. So it's acidic. This filler here and this filler here are basic. Why? Because the group here, ah, electron here are what? They can accept a proton. Right? So they are basic. So when I put the H plus right, the H plus here can go to either here or here. Up to you. Of course, I draw go down here because I want to make this too, uh, you know, very easy to see. Right? So when I put one H plus inside here, one H plus inside here, tag, put on here, H plus. So one of them will react, become tall. Okay, like that. Okay? So here it's got one. Okay, so there are four left behind here. Four of these left behind. Okay, so it's page seven. So add another one. From another one. So two, add another one. From another one. Add another one. The last one, if it's not added, it will still be page seven. Okay, it's still with this one here. Even for a change here, I want, normally they say in exam, uh, uh, excess acid. Uh, okay, uh, now not excess here. I put num num. One more. Ah, the forms are here. Nam nam, I look here. Nam nam, guys. Nam nam. Five of them. Funny thing is, when five of them form up, they form nam nam. And this one, I, I read that. This one is not here. All right. Now, they form what? They form a charge zero, is it not? Ah. They found that. It's a round there, okay? I took it from the university book. The pH, when this is formed, is about 5.6 or 5.8, whatever, lah, the whole range here. Now, this pH here, Right? For a two acidic group to one amino group here, right? To form this one here, and this pH here is called the what? Sweet iron is called what? Iso electric point. Ah. And it's at pH 5.6. Okay? pH 7 is for one to one ratio. Okay? Now, if I continue to add HCl, oh, come on here. Okay? So, Remember, now there are five of them, is it? One, 
two, three, four, five. So I put acid. Ah, the acid now will go to the last one here, here. Okay, I put red. Uh, okay, uh, this color. Okay, it's here. All right, this is a base. Last base standing. Base. All right, so the H plus will go to here. So what, so what I get is one and one here. No. Ah, this one here. No, no. So this is my gone already. So the all the first one here will be charged positive. But I got still four. See, then down, got still four of them. That means it's still charged the surface five point six. So I add one by one, acid one here, another one here, and one here, and, and by the time I add the fifth one, all will form a layer. Okay. Okay. Five of them. No more this one here. That means all will be here. Right? Normally they say, ah, now I can say excess of base. Yes, excess of base. Doesn't matter now. That means even if I put excess base, it won't change. You know? So now in this case here, this remains like this one. It means a positive one. And they found that, uh, so excess of acid. What is that? Excess of acid. I talk, talk, talk. So, okay, I said, okay, so pH should be one or less than one. Maybe pH is zero, it doesn't matter. So the structure is one positive, you know. Okay, so you can see here uh, how they progress. Now, if I were to start from here, these five of them here, okay, five of this, five of them, okay, and I add base OH. I went reverse backwards here. So now remember, if this structure here, there are three acids. One, I'll put another color, okay. If you don't know, you go back and think, okay, okay. No. This is, this is uh, not very good. Yellow, yellow, okay. This one here, this is the acid. All right, proton donor, acid, acid. All oh, these are three acid, three acid groups. Okay, now. So anyone can do first. Who wants to go first? We take some go for some first. Okay. Right? So when the base is added, the H plus come out here, right? So the first one come out, ta, go to here. If I move OH my ta, and I want to go here. Okay? Ta, if I put five of them, all this will be no more and all will be here. That's not. So I continue. Another one, the six OH minus will go to here. So forth. And when I up it from here to here, I add how many? 10 OH minus one. Okay, I give it to here. Okay, here will be uh, positive here, maybe here. And uh, finally, if I add excess base until very basic, okay, it will go to here. Okay, pH 9 or pH 14 or whatever. That means all of them, all the S, the, the H plus here is okay. So this is this one here. So there are two negative and one this charge. So it's charge two plus two negatives now. Okay. So there are, there are four, okay? There are four types of charges for aspartic acid, okay? At four different pH, at pH seven is charge negative one. At pH uh, 5.6, which is the isolectric point, it's a zero ion, it's charge zero. Now I'm going to very detail, okay? At high, very low pH, okay? pH 1, pH 0 is charged here and minus 1. A very, very high pH or very, very alkali is charged minus 2. I said, no. So this whole thing is reversible. Look at it carefully. I mean, you go back home, look at it carefully, try to draw all the equations up. Okay? Now, lysine, last of all. I've got 10 more minutes or so, right, to, uh, to finish up some questions as well. But lysine is the same idea. Okay, now, I Seven first. Seven. Okay. All of them are nice. And it's three positive and it's three positive. Okay, now there are two here. So nine. So this is uh, plus one, is it? So if I put acid, only this is my base. Okay, right? Let's say there are five of them here. One, two, three, four, five. Now put one H plus. Sorry. Funny when I this, do twice. Okay. I put a base. 
Okay, uh, uh, sorry, an acid cross, okay? So one of them come out here, okay? Another acid, okay, another acid, okay, another acid, okay, another acid. Finally, five of them, no more, is it? So no more, here's all this. Let me say this is very acidic. High pH, or low pH rather, one or zero, okay, whatever. So this will be the structure. That means that all this part here, only this part except. Right. So if it, so here, here no charge here. Eh? So two positive. Okay, right. So from here to here. Now remember, in this structure here, I'm gonna put blue color now. Go back and think about it, huh? Okay, guys. This is the acid. This is acid. This is acid. Right. Three. That means from here to here, I need to put. I got a mosquito. From here to here, if I put alkaline, ah, I must put 50 of them to go right into the end, is it? Right? Understand? So there are five of them here. Uh, yeah, okay. Right? Remember? Okay, five of these substances here, and each, this, 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 this is an acid. This is an acid. This is an acid. Okay? So here, here you require a base. Right, a base and a base. So every time I put five, it moves to here. Another five, it moves to here. Another, another five plus five OH minus move to here. Here to here, another five OH minus. Here to here, another five OH minus. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is well, very alkali. This very this alkali. Excess. They say excess of base. This is of course excess of acid. They won't ask you for the sweet iron here. Okay, now here after adding 10, sweet iron. No, no. Why? One negative, one positive. Here, okay, here's zero charge. That means this is your uh, iso electric point. They won't ask you. This, this unity okay, point. They will ask you for one to one, where pH 7 is zero, then it's iso electric point. But for this one, it's very hard. They might test you, hopefully, they don't. Lah. Okay? Right? For a amino group, okay, for two amino group to one here, the isolated point is always bigger than seven. For two carboxy acids to one amino group, the isolated point is always less than day seven. Okay, now, if you want to remember that. Okay, okay, now, is a brain already fried? And let's look at some questions like that before we end. i probably finish the rest next day, lah, okay? Okay, now let's look at this um, classic peptide. Uh, okay. Two, four, five. We will try to finish with this one. Two, five. Okay. Can you see? Amino acids, triosine. Triosine here. Right? Okay, triosine. Sorry, I put the. I think I. Okay, I wrap all this off. Rub it off. Not that. There's one uh, one rub off finish and I don't know where the command is. Okay, never mind. We will do this one here. Okay, okay, clean. Okay. Now we we'll go to red color. Right. Triosine, guys, triosine. One is to one. Okay, but this is polar, is it? This is orange. This is two. Now this one is to one, okay? Right, amino. And it's two. This is to two. And it's two. See, okay. Two is to one, okay. This is also one is to one, okay. This your favorite, like you see now. And it's two is to C O O H, okay. State the conditions to break down proteins. We'll come to later. I got this six, 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 okay. Six moles of HCl and uh, uh, six moles and heat for six hours. Uh, we'll later, okay. All right. Draw a ring on the circle. It's quite simple. 
in the aqueous solution of metal bases exists in iso 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 uh, ions. Draw the sweeter ions for present. Easy, isn't it? I won't draw for you. You can do it yourself, okay? So here. Now here. Uh, for each of the following reactions, draw the structure in the organic compound form when excess enough. You say excess. Excess of NaOH. Okay. So glycine, of course, if you want to put this one here, is NH2, CH2, and COO. This is easy, right? Okay. Excess of NaOH. Ah, this one, one and another, because anyway, one and one. Okay? So here, what I've got, huh? which one of them? Uh, now, remember, maybe I should not do this, since I talk so much about this. But the markings, I'm sure, is okay, because it's okay. Let's write the what first. Okay, let's write it in terms of the sweet iron, okay? Make it a, make it a, problem, make it a point. Okay, and H. H, H, C, H, H, C, O, O minus and positive here. Okay, so what you get? Remember, you must have balance, ah. Huh? Oh, this one structure only, so no problem. If it's question, must have balance. Okay, so it's OH. Okay, who will act as acid? So you get N, H, H, no more the hydrogen, and CH2. And of course, C double bond O and O minus. Okay, now triosine. If you don't know, look at here. Which triosine? Yeah, okay. Remember the CH2 and ring, okay? So, so I can draw the whole thing up to you. You can draw here. See this, okay? C, H here, and N, H2, and I think it's CH2. Right? CH2 and. Okay, CH2 and the ring, and okay, now they're going to test you here for what? For for the uh, phenol, isn't it? Yeah? Remember phenol, huh? Wait. Okay, H plus NaOH. Now you, you want to put the, here is COOH. You put as well can, but better still if you put, as I just said, put a what? Okay, okay. Okay, you put the sweeter iron, the, the ionized form. So this is like that here, negative. Here's your H, 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 H. Okay, now you put any way here, right? What will react? This part is not, this part is acidic, is Yeah, so you get what? And H, H. Yep, yeah, has lost the positive sign. Go to C H and this remains at C O O minus. Now here is important. Does any of you with uh, with your phenomenon? Of course it does. You don't know then you die. I tell you, you lazy fool now memorize. Right? O minus and N A plus. Remember. Okay? Here you can put NA plus, but this whole thing is important. Okay now. Right? Right, plus what? Okay? Remember, here goes in here. Or OH minus gang, okay? right? Don't get a plus. Now, let's look at the marking same as 0, 06. I don't have here. 0, 06 major 4. 06 major 4. Sorry about this. I thought I had it. 0, 06 major 4. Okay, 0, 06 major 4. Mana 2. I see. Oh, so many. I see. <coughs> well, now my, I think I messed it up. Time's up already. Okay. Right? This is the structure. Okay? Now, <coughs> lysine, excess of HCl. Okay? Okay, lysine. Right? Lysine, where is lysine? Lysine here. Okay? Here. Right, excess of HCl. Remember, I got two, is it? So here we, uh, let's, let's look here again. Uh, this is four, okay. So lysine. Here is a lysine. Okay. <coughs> H2. Oh, uh, I just <laughs> Lysine. Okay, two NH2, huh? 
think the CH3, whatever. The 2 NH2 here, H here, and we have COOH, okay? Okay, so to put it nicely in terms of, you can put this on all, it's okay. You put it in terms of, okay. Okay, in terms of uh, your, okay, this is three, positive, this H and H and H and three, and this is O, oh, okay, HCL. Remember, if HCL, this is already acidic, acid is it? This is your base, okay? So you go inside the form what? Ah, you can put like that, NH3 positive, H, CH2, and NH3 positive, and here be, right? C, O, O, H is the structure. So triacetyl excess of bromine too. Of course, you get your brominated. Okay, all this no reaction of bromine. Here will be Br, Br. Okay. Ah, maybe not. I try again. Okay, I finish already. Zero six zero six major four. Zero six major four. Let's wait a while. Okay. Okay, okay. Zero six million four. 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 Zero six million. Okay. Um, okay. Last one, ah. Huh? Let, let, let you go. Or let me go. Okay. This is the one. Two rings. <laughs> I think this is the one. Okay. All right. Now here, D. Yeah. Uh, D. Is it D. Yeah. Number four. D, okay, no, for D, uh, right, so here. So this one will be your, they want an A here, dot, and A plus. This is a dot, and A plus, okay? Why not D, one and two? D, okay, bracket, up to you to put, okay? Right? Uh, see now, uh, here, remember, this is your, uh, let me put it like here. Remember, this is your phenol, you know? Ah, see, NA here, right? And here. <coughs> the bracket <coughs> means that it doesn't matter, you put or don't put, it doesn't matter, okay? The thing must be negative here, and it's negative here. What the point? Okay, right? So here, remember, uh, for here is NH3, two of them NH3, NH3, no? okay? NH positive, and here is your, uh, your IC group. The CL minus, you can put or don't put, also can, okay? The two cell minus cell. Look at here. Right now. Okay, see now. Okay. And the three. Right? You can put this. If, if you want to do uh, uh, correctly, you put two here. No? <clears throat> okay? Plus what? Two H2. You, this will be the perfect uh, equation. Uh. Okay? Then we dot cell minus dot cell minus. Do you understand? <clears throat> okay? For bromine, of course, if, if a BR2 here with plus 2 HBr here. Okay? Alright, so all this we'll do later on your, uh, what is this, uh, electrophoresis. I don't have time enough. So now today you make sure you know, <coughs> you go back to the original, uh, original syllabus 1, 3, 2. You have to look at what you have done today, right? Describe the acid-base properties of amino acids and formation as well. We are saying, if not all this, this in great detail we have done. The amino acid here is a what? Amphoteric and equations, acid and base equation and uh, 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 the product form and the sweet ions. Okay, it's a lot here. 
covered here. Okay? So we've done it with all the questions here, and of course, this two we will do tomorrow. Lah. Okay? So I finished nearly all. We are three quarters finished already. Last part, of course, is this one here, and your, uh, what is it? Polymerization, your electrophoresis, and that's, that's it. So you better work right now. Monday, you better sign up or don't sign up, up to you. Lah, you know? I'm providing free uh, to, to tutor any problems here. You don't sign up with, uh, with Irfan or with uh, Justin Ong, that means you don't come. Uh, you're not interested. I'm wasting my time, you're wasting your time. So, okay, but those who sign up, uh, we will, I will, I will e I'll email the, the Zoom to you and you'll, you'll be invited. Otherwise, uh, you can play your computer games, you can go shopping. It's okay. I mean, you just fail. Okay, guys, goodbye. Uh, how to do this? Okay, stop. I still have a problem with this.